Hey, it's Christian, the Work From Anywhere Marketing Guy. Today we're gonna to talk about how to scale your SMMA. So if you're either thinking of starting an SMMA or you already have one, and you wanna learn how to scale that to six or seven figures, we're gonna break it down, let's go. All right, so real quick, I want you to think about something. I want you to think about Starbucks. They have a set menu, right? Any Starbucks you go to, what are you gonna get? You're gonna get consistency. You're gonna walk in that door, you're gonna know exactly what you're getting. Now when Starbucks wants to scale, when they wanna open a new store, what do they do? They're just gonna take exactly what they're doing in one location, and they're gonna open that up in the second location. Even if those locations are across the street from one another. So when I started my first SMMA, I worked with everybody you could think of. You know, I had dating coaches, I had career coaches, I had financial advisors, I had gyms, I had chiropractors, I had all sorts of clients. And my head was spinning, trying to figure out the marketing campaigns for each of these different types of businesses. It's like I was trying to market for seven different industries at once, it was insanity. That's like Starbucks opening up a new location and saying, we're gonna serve Japanese food here. It just doesn't make sense if you want to scale. The key to scaling your SMMA is keeping everything exactly the same. And that's because when you go to add a new client and you already have those campaigns dialed in, you already have that testimonial that speaks exactly to your prospect, you already know exactly who to target with that campaign, guess what? It's like clockwork. It's copy, paste, profit. All you do is repeat the same thing over and over again. Now, there is an order to this because when you're first starting out in business or with your SMMA, you have to try a lot of different things and experiment in order to find one thing that works. So in the beginning, you want to try a lot of different campaigns, a lot of different types of clients, almost like you're dating to find someone to marry. You don't wanna just pick the person you think you wanna marry and only have your eyes on that person and never meet another person in your whole life because you won't know what's out there. So when you're getting into your niche, when you're starting your SMMA, try to date lots of different industries and then find one that you like, that you like the clients, that you can get good results in. And then just like Starbucks, we're just gonna copy paste profit. We're gonna repeat the same thing over and over again. So you're gonna take that campaign that worked for your first client and you're gonna go out to another business in the same exact industry, in the same niche, and you're gonna say, hey, I'm getting results for a chiropractor in New York City, but I have no clients in San Francisco right now. Now I'm gonna take on one client in San Francisco and give them exclusivity. Would you like that to be you? I already have campaigns, I already know they worked, here's the results we're getting for the client in New York City, I expect we're gonna get similar results in San Francisco and I can't be certain about that because every area is different, but I can show you that these are the results we're getting right now. So do you think that's gonna be an easier sell than if you go to a gym after working with a chiropractor and say, I'm getting great results for a chiropractor, and the gym owner's gonna say, but what about gym? So once you find that thing that works, don't be afraid to date in the beginning, but once you find it, copy paste profit. Just rinse and repeat, keep doing the same thing over and over again. Now the hard part about this for entrepreneurs is that we have shiny object syndrome. We don't like doing things over again. We like doing new things all the time. And so you might have to go against your natural inclination to always go out there and do new things. Once you start to succeed, try to do the same thing every single day. And then put systems and processes in place to do that so that you can scale that business without losing your mind. Okay, and if you want to, you can even put the processes in place and sell that business so that you can go on and keep doing entrepreneurial things. Keep having shining object syndrome and do something new. So if you want to scale your social media marketing agency, your lead gen agency, or really any kind of business, there's the process. Try a bunch of different things in the beginning. When something sticks, repeat it over and over again and then fight against the tendency to have shiny object syndrome and go try something new as soon as you find success. Let me know in the comments, where are you at in your SMMA? How many clients do you have? What are your biggest challenges at scale? Throw them in the comments, or if you have any other type of business, and I'll see if I can help you out. That's all for today. It's Christian, the Work From Anywhere guy. See ya on the next one.